I'm Louise Hodges with GreenBugAllNatural.com. Today we're going to discuss a repellent for biting flies. In order to make our recipe today, the first thing I did was I went out into my yard and I got some ingredients, all of which are natural and organic. We've got some thyme, some lavender, as well as some rosemary. And I'd actually cut some of this earlier and dried it because I'm going to be making a tea out of these ingredients. And this is what they look like dried. In order to um, take care of a lot of different pests, you use a variety of ingredients. So whether it's gnats or biting flies that you're dealing with, whether this is for your plants, whether it's for your vegetables, whether it's for your pets or on your person, you need a variety to deal with the different species that you're going to be repelling. So garlic is a great ingredient, as well as cayenne pepper. Um, I've got a mortar and pestle here so that I can mix all these up. Then I'm going to put them in my teapot, pour some boiling water in here, and actually create a tea to make my ingredients. So what I do is I grab some of my herbs here and put them into my mortar and pestle. I pour some garlic in there and the cayenne pepper. The reason you use a variety of ingredients is because this can be used for a variety of pests. It can be a repellent for plants, it could be for yourself, it could be for your vegetables, your tomatoes, whatever. For flies, for gnats, for chiggers, you name it. So I've ground these up and I'm going to pour it into my teapot and pour in the boiling water to start steeping my tea. This is completely organic and natural and is not harmful to people or pets or plants whatsoever. So as you can see, it's starting to steep. I'll let this steep for about five minutes and cool down, and then I'll be placing it into my plastic bottle. Now that my tea is steeped, I'm going to pour it through a tea strainer to make sure that I don't have any chunks that might clog up my sprayer. Because this recipe is good for all types of, of pests that you might have, moths, chiggers, biting flies. This can be used on plants, on your person, on your pets, on your plants, and it's not harmful to anything. But it sure will keep the pests away. So now that I've done that, I just pour it into my spray bottle. And before you use it, you want to make sure that it cools down completely. But this is a repellent across the board that's going to work on a lot of different pests and a lot of different applications. And I put the spray top in and we are good to go. And there you have it, a repellent for biting flies. I'm Louise Hodges with GreenBugAllNatural.com. Thank you for watching.